Hi, this is Mark Frechette from Georgetown County School District. And recently I've had a teacher ask me how in a virtual classroom using Google Classroom, they could go ahead and create a question form to where students could question, comment, or add a concern maybe about something that isn't in the classwork section. So in other words, how could they notify the teacher without the use of email and have the teacher receive notification so that way they can address that in, um, you know, either in the stream or whatever to help the student while they're not in the classroom. So there's a simple solution to this. And you can see that I have created a basic Google form for my classroom and it just says contact Mr. Frechette. It does mention that I'll, res I'll try to respond within a certain amount of time. And then again, um, I also address that down here. Is this a question about an assignment? And if so, then go to classwork and be sure to add a private comment under the assignment. Um, and then I, I also mentioned that if the assignment for some reason is not listed under classwork, um, then they, there's directions on how they need to address this. Also, if they have a, a question, comment, or concern that's not about an assignment, maybe they need to reach out to me, get a hold of me. And again, they don't have email. So some of our elementary folks, um, they aren't using their email to contact their, their teachers. So I would just go ahead and use this as a contact um, for the student to go ahead and be able to type in their question, comment, or concern to me right in this form. You can see I have a space for that. And I'm gonna show you how to set this up so that I receive notifications every time someone enters this. Um, You'll notice that under responses, um, I've, I have this um, view sheets right here. And in view sheets, what I've done is I'm gonna come over here to where it says tools. And then under tools, it says notification rules. I'm gonna check that. And then it says notify me at mforshad at GCSD. Um, when I'm gonna put a user submits a form and I am going to email me right away. I'm gonna click save and now what that means, and then I'm gonna click done. And what that means is every time a student fills out this form, I will receive an email as a teacher with their question, comment, or concern. So um, again, this is kind of what the live form looks like. You can see from the teacher side as a preview. Um, the other thing that I've added in my form that I'm just gonna go back and, and show you on the edit side is under settings, I've also made it so that way it collects email. Um, and that way I know which student is asking the question because then what I'll do is after they go ahead and ask their question, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll go into the um, stream and I'll add a private uh, comment or message back to that student and not to the whole class. So again, um, those are just some of the basic setups I have in form. One more time, I go to settings. I've made it so it collects email, so I know who it's coming from. The second thing I've done is I've gone to the form, um, gone to the sheet on the form, and I've gone to tools, come down to notification rules, and I set up my notification rules so that way, um, anytime that a user submits a form, it's gonna notify me via email, and it's gonna email me right away when they press, press submit, and again, um, where I've posted this in my classroom is I've posted this at the top. I've made a topic. And again, I've made it, I've entered it as a material. And now I'll show you what it looks like from the student side. So when I come in from the student side of this, um, here I'm a student inside of this classroom. If they go to classwork, you'll see that at the top under topics, burning question, comment, concern, it says click on the form below and send me that so the students can click right on this. You'll notice as I'm logged in with my son as a student, it says this is who is submitting this form. It does it automatically. And then it says, how can I help? So he will type in a question um, for this. I'm just gonna type in a message. He's gonna hit submit. And I will, um, in about a minute, receive an email that will show his question, comment, or concern on my end. So as you can see, once the student fills out this form, again, you can see I've got an email directly to this. Um, it tells me that a user made changes. It tells me when they made the changes. 
And again, I can go right to that comment um, and look on the form and then I can respond to that student inside the stream to answer their question. So again, um, this is a way to know if students have a burning question, comment, or concern for you that is not specific to something inside of classwork. Again, I hope this helps as a contact form and good luck.